This ogre test is going to focus on physics and 3D sound. We're using Newton as our physics engine. And pretty much how this is uh, working here is I, I have it set up so that when I hit the space bar, these little barrel type things project from the feet of the robot. And I set up a, an invisible incline so that they have something to roll down despite the, the world itself being flat. Um, so you can see them kind of sinking into the ground because of this. Newton handles all this for us. It's, um, it's constantly updating the, the transformation of the, of the meshes themselves to reflect their rigid body collisions. Um, so aside from that, I want to show you how the 3D sound works. Pretty much I can walk to any location and start a sound, and now that sound is associated with that XYZ position where it was started. As I deviate from that position, it will either intensify in amplitude or, or decrease, um, simulating you know moving away or getting closer to a sound source. The rate at which it does that is, um, is something that can be varied. Uh, it's a parameter inside FMOD, which is the, the sound library that I'm using for this, for this demo. And um, so the interesting thing, too, is that it's not just limited to, to one sound. I've placed this, this one song that's playing at this location here, but I could just as easily go someplace else, start another sound playing at a different location, and then be able to, to move away from that sound, move towards the other sound, and here both of them, you know, both of them are playing at the same time, but you're, you're alternating which one you're hearing because you as a listener are closer to one or the other. Um, this is going to be particularly useful when making games using this technology, as you can have characters' voices being projected from around corners and bullets going by and whatnot.